I just came on today, the Prophet's Corner. Uh, last time we talked about being unap unapologetically awesome. And today we want to talk about the Wizard of Oz in a new way. Uh, we're on the narrow road, and, and sometimes uh, the Christians seem to be on the broad road. But we're on, as they say in the, the Wizard of Oz, the yellow brick road. And there are many things that could distract us. Uh, we have to be careful and, and watch who we allow in our circle. As prophets, we're going to be careful, have to be careful who we allow in our circle. Because we are in the next level. We've been saying for, for, for years that this is the thing in the church to say. Um, we are going to the next dimension. We're going to the next level. But now that we are uh, on the next level, we have to watch our circle. We're going to have to watch who we allow to hang around us. Okay? If you remember, if you recall correctly, Dorothy was living out west. So she had to be used to storms. She had to be used to hurricanes because they had a place where they could go underground. They had a place where they could go and um, and hide from the storms. You're going to have to have a place where you can hide from the storms of life. And if you're saying, um, well, she just finished doing this when I did do it, but I, I had to delete it because I had some setting on. <laughs> I had some type of setting on where I couldn't even hear what was going on. So I had to delete it and start over. But how many of you know that all things work together for good to those that love the Lord? Um, I just like this, uh, I believe that was Prophetess Wilcher that's there. But I just like to say we have to watch who is in our circle in this next dimension. We have to watch who is around us. Uh, in The Wizard of Oz, the, uh, there was a scarecrow that needed a heart. We're going to need heart. We, we're going to have to do uh, finish this race. We cannot get distracted by the things that are going on around, around us. We're going to have to have heart to finish this race. Um, there was a cowardly lion. We can't be cowardly. We cannot be cowardly in this time. We're going to have to uh, put on the whole armor of God, and we're going to be, have to be brave. We're in the, the next dimension. We're already in the, the next dimension. So we're going to have to put on the whole arm of God to stand against the wiles of the enemy. The enemy is coming at us with everything that he has. So we're going to have to have heart. We're going to have to have a brain. We're going to have to help on that helmet of salvation. We cannot forget our helmet when we go out to fight. If you're a, if you're a soldier, you never seen soldiers go out to fight without their helmet. So in this um, now this next dimension that we're in, we're, we're going to have to keep our helmet on so that we could keep our wits about us. Okay, so endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ, 2 Timothy 2 and 3. So I wrote down some notes and I want to read these to you. And, and if you've heard it before the last time, then um, you you're. You're dismissed, as we say as a teacher. If you heard it before, you are dismissed. But I'm going to read it for the sake of those that missed it the first time. In this life, we face all kinds of trials and tests and meets all types of people. But if you know where you're going, you keep going no matter who you meet. Dorothy got caught up in a whirlwind, a tornado, if you will. Have you ever had so many things happen to you that it felt as if you were in a hurricane or a tornado? The baby's upset, the husband's different, the supervisor's tripping. We all have been there, 
But what do you do when the hurricanes come into your life? We have to have our anchor in Jesus. We cannot give up when these things threaten our life. When Dorothy, uh, well, Dorothy had dreams. She was living out in the middle of nowhere. And they were accustomed to this type of thing, seeing that they did have a hiding place. And we have to have a hiding place. That hiding place is Jesus. But when the storm hit, she was so busy chasing Toto, her dog. We have to be careful what we're chasing after. Some people now, what they're chasing after fame, they're chasing after titles, and they're doing everything but doing what the Lord told them to do. So when the storm hits, when the hurricane comes, then they're caught off guard. They're cut off. They're caught off guard, and they don't know where to go. They have no hiding place. They have no word. You have to have something to pull on that word that's inside of you. You have to have the nothing from nothing leaves nothing. Okay, that's how we would learn it in math. Nothing from nothing, zero plus zero is still zero. So if we have no word in us, when the storm of life hits, it's going to knock us off of our posts. We're going to have to have that. Praise God. But when the storm hit, she was busy chasing after Toto. And sometimes you have to go into hiding for yourself. She got caught up in the tornado and she landed in a strange place. Have you ever landed in a strange place? Have you ever gotten uh, into so much test and so much heat that it seems as though you were in a strange place? It seems as though you were caught up in a storm, if you will. But she landed in a strange place where the trees were even talking. Okay, so an even better question is how do I get out of this thing? How do I get out of this? Now that I'm in it, how do I get out? Well, I'm glad you asked because the word said he would always make a way of escape for us. He will always make a way of escape. So she lands, Dorothy lands in a strange place. She meets some strange characters, the 10 woodmen who needed a heart. And watch who you let in your circle. People will get close to you to see what they can get out of you. Okay. The scarecrow wanted a brain. You have to think clearly when you're caught up. The enemy wants to catch you without your helmet of salvation. That's why I don't understand folk who can put down their Holy Ghost. There's no such thing. You either have the Holy Ghost or you don't. Keep your wits about you or you may end up being like that cowardly lion. Okay, scared of any. Have you ever met people that are scared of, of everything? They, they talk a big talk. They talk tough. But when it comes to actually doing the thing, you can't even get them to go, go with you around the corner because their, their bar was worse than their bite. Okay, but you, we're looking for them to be ride or die, but they can't hang with you. They cannot hang because they don't have the stamina that they need. We're in spiritual warfare. We need folk with courage, heart, and brains through their tests and trials. The characters, uh, they develop some characteristics, and they found out that they had these things all along. So we have to do, as Moses said, as Jesus told Moses, what's in that, that's in your hand, we're going to have to use what we already have. Um, sometimes we're looking to be mightier than we really are. We want to get to... to uh, the advanced grade. We want to get to, to the PhD before we even get to, to kindergarten. Okay. But we're going to have to go step by step in this thing. Okay. But they had to endure some hardships. They came up against witches. They came up against evil monkeys, a, a treacherous forest. They went through a treacherous forest. And sometimes you, somebody said, I can't see the forest for the trees. Sometimes we can get in places that seem so dark to us. Uh, and witches do come up against us. Okay. Um, but the wizard turned out to be a little man behind the stage pretending to be somebody that he wasn't. How many of you know people like that? They're out for these big titles and these big names and, and they want to be bishop this and apostle that. 
But, you know, it's not all about that. It's about the assignment that God put us on. Because you're going to face the witches. You're going to face, uh, face the hardships. But you're going to have to have courage. You're going to have, have to have courage. You're going to have to hang in there when it seems as though you cannot um, um, go forward. You're going to have to stay on the yellow brick road. Make sure what you're chasing is worth going after. Dorothy said she was going after whatever she was going after. She wanted um, her dreams to come true. She was going after those dreams. And we have dreams that we all are going after, but we have to uh, make sure that those dreams are the things that the Lord asked us to go after. If Jesus did not put that desire in your heart, don't go uh, trying to be like somebody else, okay? Don't go and, and just doing something because somebody else did it. Okay, um, good morning, uh, Satin, good morning, bless you. Uh, so we can't just go after things because uh, somebody else is doing it, because Apostle this is doing it and Bishop this is doing it. Mm -hmm. We have to go after these things because the Lord put it in our heart to do it. But she didn't make home make it back home by clicking her heels and repeat, repeating a phrase, there's no place like home. And sometimes we have to have a mantra that uh, that we repeat. Good morning to you. Sometimes we have to have something that we repeat because it seems like that's the only way we can make it through this thing. We we have to have something that to remind us of who we are. Because first of all, if we are on this yellow brick road, there are going to be people that have no heart. <laughs> I'm telling you, there, there are going to people, be people that come around you and they, and they talk all this big talk, but they really are a cowardly lion. They're a cowardly lion. They're, they're a scarecrow. They have no heart. Uh, have you ever been in, in a, a church uh, or you ever been around a folk and, and they say that they, uh, they have all this love, but when you start going through your thing, that's when you'll find out how much love they have for you. Because people will turn on you because they think that the enemy is against you. And, and they don't want to be caught up in the same thing. They don't want to be in that path of the hurricane. So they'll get out of sync with you because they want to be in with the people who they think are going up. So you're gonna to have to know who the who the the scarecrow the scarecrows are those people that have no heart. <laughs> you're gonna to have to know who that tin man is. Those that have no brain, okay, they just going into battle. You you can't just jump into warfare. You you can't just get in jump into warfare. You're going to have to be strapped up in this hour. And as I, as I said, we're on a a whole another. We've been asking for it. Forever, we've been asking God to put us on a new dimension. Give us another dimension. Give us another uh, thing, God. Give us another uh, uh, experience. And now that God has given us that, we're on the next level. We we're not on the we're not the same where we used to be. We we're not that. We're we're graduated, if you will. We got PhDs in this thing by now. And, and God said, it, it, you don't need to be fed milk anymore. We need the strong meat. Was that Paul? We need the strong, we, we don't need to be on applesauce now. Come on. We should be eating steak by now. We shouldn't be getting uh, choked on this thing right now. But we're on a whole new dimension. We're on this yellow brick road. But we cannot be distracted by the forest, what we see in the forest. We can't be distracted by that wicked witch of the West, okay? Because you're going to face some witches. You're going to face some warlock. And these people are subtle. They are very subtle. And they don't come with these high hats like this. They don't come on the broomsticks. <laughs> You know, and as I said, we everybody's not a demon and everybody's not a witch, but you're going to have to know this is this is my specialty, to prepare the body. This is what I do, okay? This is to help prepare the body because I've gone through so many things myself. 
Okay, so if I'm not, if I'm not talking about prosperity and about things that you want to hear, maybe it's not for you, okay? But this is what the, the Lord gave me to do. This is my ministry. Dennis, don't go and try to perform surgery on people, on, on their heart, okay? And the, the heart surgeon does not go into people's ear. You have to know what your spe specialty is in the gospel, and you have to stick with that. Because when you get out there on the front line now, and you start saying your thing, when people start coming with these criticism, you're going to have to not, not back down. This is my lane, so stay on your yellow brick road. Get off of mine, okay? This is my yellow brick road. This is what the Lord had me to do, to help undergird. This is the prophet's corner. And, and you don't have to be a prophet to come over here to hear what, what we have to say over here. But we are, we're going to be strength, strengthened. We're going to be strengthened by the word of God. We're not going to let the witches and the warlocks throw us off. Okay, because they, they come after prophets. Those witches come after prophets. They want, they want us. Now, when we were in kindergarten, when we were in elementary school, the Lord didn't allow them to come because we weren't ready. But now we're on this next dimension. We're going to have to watch. Okay, that, that scarecrow, that tin man, and that cowardly lion. You don't want those in your corner. Okay, you don't want those in your corner. You're going to have to be strapped up with the word of God. You're going to, hey, hey Nancy, well, you're going to have to be strapped up with the word of God because when that fire gets hot, when that fire gets hot, guess what? That, that scarecrow, first of all, he's going to catch on fire because he made out of straw. So you, hey, what? So then you, you out of that. Okay, and that tin man, because he don't have a brain, he's going to start telling you and giving you advice that you that is not for you. See, you're going to have to know what advice is for you. You want to know who to li have to know who to listen to and who not to listen to. You're going to have to know how to keep your mind focused on the yellow brick road. This is the Wizard of Oz. In a whole different spin, a whole different spin, you're going to have to know how to keep your brain, your, your wits about you. That, that tin man, he ain't got no brains. He's going to tell you to do this, going, going after this. And, and, and when the Lord, as, as prophets and as, as Christians, when, the Lord, uh, when people are calling you, to all type of things, and we know this by now because we're in this neck, this new thing. When people are calling you to go to this conference and that conference and that conference, you better watch that because um, guess what? The, a lot of people, they just want to use your gift to make them look good. Oh, did I say that? They want to use your gift to make them look good. They want to use your your gift to make their conference boom and all of this stuff. But the Lord did not give us these gifts to misuse them. He didn't give us these gifts to show off. He did not give us these gifts. And, and see, uh, the people that, that he allowed to come around you, those are not the people that's going to keep asking you for a word. You got a word for me today? You got a word for me? That means, first of all, they shouldn't be in your three. They shouldn't be in your three, okay? They ought not to be in your circle because, first of all, you need to get a word for yourself. Get, a, go get in the word and get a word. If you want a word, get in the word, all right? So the best mantras I know are in the word of God. We can make it through all of the tests and trials against those monkeys. Y'all remember those flying monkeys? <laughs> I don't want to get too much but these flying monkeys. But we got a whole lot of foolishness going on in the body of Christ. I'm not calling people monkey. But listen, they, these spirits that are out here, they are f full of foolishness and nonsense. Y'all see these, these monkeys um, swinging from tree to tree, tree to tree. They, they go from, from church to church, starting foolishness. Cut, cut, you know, just... Ooh, 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 just cutting up, uh, just, just nonsense, 
foolishness. When I was living in New Haven, Connecticut, and, and prophets, we see things, we see things, and, um, and sometimes we can't tell things when we want to tell them. We have to tell them when it's, a t when it's right time to tell them. But when I was living in Connecticut, I uh, was at work, and I got on the elevator to go down to the cafeteria to eat, and I may have, have told my friends on here, I may have told you about this, but I got on the elevator to go down to the cafeteria, and this man got on the elevator in front of me. Okay, so that means when the elevator opened, he was the first one to get out. So when he got out of the elevator as a prophet, I saw this monkey jump out from behind out of his back and went running off like this. Okay, so I said, okay, Lord, he must have been up to monkey business monkey business, but a lot of people are up to monkey business uh, um, in, in the church, y'all. Everybody that comes in the church, they don't come for, for to, to be saved and sanctified and baptized with the Holy Ghost and fire, if you will. They are out to do some sneaky things. They are flying. Um, they are up to foolishness. Uh, let's just put it like that. And, and, and prophets, uh, let us be careful who we entertain on this Facebook. And I heard Sister Satin say it before, uh, these men that come to try to befriend, befriend you on Facebook when, when we are, uh, 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 if you are single, if you are married, it doesn't matter. They, they are out for fooling. These, these flying monkeys, they come to befriend you. They come to spy on you. And, and nine times out of ten, they're already married. They just want to see the test to see if you're going to do what they want to do, okay? But you know what I told them? Get the stepping. Uh, in, in so many words, get the stepping. I'm not about that. I'm not all about that. You know what? Uh, um, I'm, I'm not with my husband at this time. We're separated. Well, guess what? I don't have time for that. I don't have time to be caught up in no foolishness because um, Jesus is coming soon and he's coming to see if we stayed on our yellow brick road. Mm -hmm. And that's all I got to say. But, but, but there, there are people that are out to trip you up. They know the word. They know that word, but they just, they're just out to destroy your reputation. They know you're a prophet of the Most High. They know you're a prophetess of the Most High, but they're just out to ruin your reputation. So if, if you know what the Lord told us, we have to have stamina. We have to have character. We can't be uh, caught in compromising situations because <clears throat> once you've done what they want you to do, then guess what they'll say? I know it wasn't nothing to her in the first place. I know she wasn't no prophetess. They want to make fun of you. They wanted to, you know, do all types of things with you, and then they'll run and tell people that you weren't who you say you were. Okay, so the best um, mantras that I know are in the Word of God. We can make it through all the tests and trials. The monkeys, the haters, the backbiters, the reputation killers, all, etc. But we have to stay focused maneuver through with the word of God. Ask God to reveal these hidden traps, these pitfalls, and these dangers. But ask him also to show us the good side of life. We don't want to always just, just be in that in, in that far side. And I, I don't remember, well, I remember that emerald um, kingdom that they, they went into. I remember that, but I don't remember what that forest was called. But I know they met all kind of foolishness in that in that forest. But uh, we don't just want to, uh, we as prophets, we just don't, we don't want to just see this tunnel vision, you know, this, oh, woe is me and, and all like that. No, because, because we see so much, we have the opportunity to live the best life, the, the abundant life that Jesus Christ had, because he reveals to us what? The secrets, the secrets. There's a king and there's a queen. And guess what? That queen gets in the king's ear. She knows all of his secrets. So when we go in that, that Psalm 91 place of the Most High, 
He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. When we get into that secret place, into our prayer closet, nobody have to know. We don't have to be shouting from the rooftop, you know, we bishop this and we apostle that. No. We, 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 we're, get, we're servants of the Most High. We get into that secret place of God. Uh, when, when I go into praise and worship and, 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 and like this, the Lord began to, to, to show me heavenly things. Y'all, I, I see bags of money. I, I, I see bags of money. And the, the Holy Spirit said, I see treasures. I see the oil. Y'all ever go to pray and you just see oil? That the whole that the heaven is pouring on you, I see um, a wine, wine that's poured down, pouring down on me. Sometimes I see water, living water, pouring down on me. So we're not uh, just doom and gloom, no, ma'am, and no, sir. We're not just doom and gloom. We are uh, in that secret place of God, and, I, and 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 as I said, we're not just talking to prophets. You don't have to be prophet. To be a prophet, but this is called a prophet's corner, okay? We're talking to all of the Christians. When we get into that secret place of God, he begins to reveal these secrets and these treasures. He'll tell us to go here and go there. It's, it's like a map. It's just like a treasure map. He'll show you where the treasure is. And then you don't have to do a whole bunch of digging. You don't have to do a whole bunch of digging. Now, He'll show you how to get the most out of your talents and gifts. And thank you so much for all of, the, of those encouraging likes and hearts and stuff. You know, I'm feeding off of those. I'm <laughs> saying I'm feeding off of those things. So enjoy your stay here. Enjoy your stay here. Um, he came to give us abundant life. Stay on the yellow brick road, the narrow road, and we'll reach our destiny. Pray without season and watch. We are watchmen on that wall. We are watchmen. And then the thing, the other thing I want to say to the prophets, if you're watching for somebody, once you warn them, back away. Once you give them the warning, the, the Lord said this, once you give them that warning, back away. Just back away. Because this is this is what the Lord told you to do. So now the blood is, is, is not required at your hand. But if the Lord told you and he showed you something, because you, how, how many of you know when, when you meet a person, and, and this is not to scare people away from us, but if you a true per prophet of God, when you meet people, when you come into good contact with them, uh, you know their spirit. You, you know their spirit. It does not take you long to know what they are about. It does not, it does not take you long. And, and you don't have to have a, a, a to go in, uh, to put that uh, thing, uh, go, you, you don't have to have a prayer cloth over your head and go into prayer and fast. No. If you have that gift of prophecy, you don't have to be around a person a long time to know where they're coming from. Because the Holy Ghost has given us that spirit, that, that gift of discernment comes with that prophet office. But then we all have to have heart. We can't be like that scarecrow. We're, we're going to have to have a brain. We can't be like the tin man. And then we have to uh, have courage because we can't be like the lion. When you see them, when you first see them, you know what they're about. You already know because this, 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 the the uh, the hi sister when the uh, that's my cousin Marion hi Jean when when you first meet them as a prophet the Holy Ghost is going to mm, yep mm -hmm. he's gonna either say watch out or he's gonna have to say, he's gonna click that's one good that's one of your three that's a lion. That's a scarecrow, <laughs> okay? Or oh, that's that tin man. And this one, these one have these have good characters. These characters, uh, Nancy, Lakeisha, Lakeisha. I always call it the wrong one. It's a T or K. Lakeisha and and myself, 
we and, and there are um, some other ones, other ones. But the three of us stick together like this at work. Okay, and we we not no, we're not the scarecrow, the lion, and the tin man. We put our things together. You know, one, one has courage. If if one have a, a heart, one have brain. One whatever you need, but you got to have somebody. It, it's not <clears throat> always good to just be by yourself and say, I'm the prophetess of the Most High God. I don't associate with this one, and I don't associate with that one. No, that's, that's not what it's all about. It's not all about being deep and stuff. But it's at the same time, being on this yellow brick road, you're going to have to know who who is up against, you know, who is for you and who is against you, who's against you. Stay on the yellow brick road, the narrow road. You'll reach your destiny. Pray without season and watch. Y'all know who was up on that wall. He said, I'm up on the wall, and I cannot come down. There's no time, as we said last week, to, pla to pat a cake. God gave each of us, and I started to prophesy. Y'all remember that? I started to prophesy last week, and the and the thing cut off on me because I didn't know we only had an hour. I didn't know that. But... Um, uh, we are up on the wall, and we can't come down from there. That's our assignment. We are up there to watch, not to, not to play. And I said last last week we are supposed to be praying, not playing. Okay, so we're up on that wall, and we cannot come. We are watchmen for the kingdom. Okay, and and uh, some of the pastors they they. Uh, the, the dynamic between the, the pastors and the prophet will have to be a good dynamic, okay? Because if you remember in the old days, the prophets, the, the, there were watchmen up on the towers, and they could see the enemy way off. We said that last, I think we said that last week, or it was on View from the Pew. Y'all, and I was on TV going to watch it uh, preach the world word worldwide network. TV.com, P-T-W-W-N, TV.com. I was um, uh, allowed the opportunity to, to go in there, and we were talking about being, I was talking about being up on that wall, but the, the kings, uh, they had watchmen up on the tower, so that's what we are. We are watchmen, and all of us better be watching because the Lord said watch as well as what? As well as pray. But we are watchmen. Uh, hi, uh, Prophetess Wilcher. But we are watchmen up on that wall, and we can't come down. That dynamic between the pastor and the prophet, it needs to be a good one. It, it needs to be a good one because I'm not saying that the Lord doesn't show the pastors either, but he shows the prophet. He shows us. That that's our specialty, guys. That's our specialty. Uh, to be there, we cannot apologize. Remember, unapologetically awesome. And when I say awesome, I don't mean uh, all of that and, and red lipstick. No, that's not what I mean by awesome. I'm talking about awesome in the spirit of God. Because we can have all of this and be a, what? A, a sounding brass, tinkling cymbal. All about nothing. All about nothing. Make a whole lot of noise and all about nothing. But we're up on that wall. We got it. We need to have a good relationship with whomever the Lord allow us to be in connection with to watch those sheep. And if we are pastors, because the prophets can be in that uh, pastor, uh, you can be over church, but just make sure we have some pastors that are help watching our sheep because our special. Our specialty is to be out there on the front line. We're going to take the hits. We're going to take the hits because we're out there on the front. But uh, Prophetess Wilcher, we were saying we we are we have to be careful not surround us with scarecrows and lions. Okay, and ten people. They we got to have. We need somebody, but they have to have heart. They have to have brains, common sense. And they have to have courage, because when you come up against uh, the storm, and and it, and it, you have to be that for them too. All three of that, for them. 
because when they when you come up against a storm, when people come up uh, when they come up against a storm in your job, you as prophets, they're coming to you. They're coming to you because the prophet has embedded in them that gift of counseling. They have that anointing as a counselor. And when, when they come to us, we can't kill them and say, oh, you scarecrow, just get on out. You, you call the line, get on out. Or oh, you tin man, you, 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 you're you not very smart. Get on No, we're going to have to find that thing in them that's good and praise, the, you know, you know how we do as, as parents. Yeah, you brought, the, uh, little Johnny brought us a coloring and they all out of the lines. The, the concept is good, but they don't have it down pat yet, okay? So let's not be so so fast to kill them. Don't, don't kill them. We, we have to find the thing in them that's good. Find that thing in them that's good and work with that thing and, and tell them uh, in a gentle way, this is what we need to, to work on, okay? So let's... let's uh, be mindful that we don't kill the people that come to us for counseling. They're looking to us because he said, we are the light of the world, the city that's set on the hill and cannot be hid. If people don't know that you are Christian, if they don't know that you are in the arena of, uh, of Jesus, there's something wrong because that light should be coming somewhere. Okay, so we're about to wrap this up because all of us have things to do today. Uh, God will do his part if we stay on the yellow brick road. He's going to do his part. We're on the next level already. We've been asking for years. God, take us to the next dimension. And there are some more to go. There are other dimensions, okay? But uh, we are already on the level that we asked God for. Now, we're there. What are we going to do now? We're out here. There's no going back. We've got to strap up. Quit whining so much, Kylie Lion. When these things come up against us, yeah, we will, we will go to one another. We will ask one another for advice. We will ask somebody to pray. But don't just keep dwelling on the thing. Don't just keep whining about it, okay? Because nobody wants to hear you whining. And, and if we are supposed to be out there as generals out on the front, you don't ever hear the general say, what are we going to do next, Right? You you don't ever have you, you don't ever hear a, about a commander or a chief or a general that's out front saying, "Oh Lord, I guess we better turn around." No, they they know when to retreat. Now you better know when to retreat and go in your word. You better know when to go into fasting and praying. But you don't ever hear a commander say, uh, "Oh well, oh Lord, what are we gonna do now?" No. Because the Lord knew that you had heart. He knew that you had a brain. And he knew that you, you had courage. So that's why he chose you. That's why he chose you to be out there on that front line. So when the people come to you, make sure when, when they come to us, we have to make sure that we're giving them some subs, substance. We're not these flying monkeys. A ball about nonsense. We're not all over the place. Okay. Uh, we're, we're going to have to be, and, and things will hurt us. They will cut spiritual warfare. It, it will come to us. But that would just that would be just to make you better. Because when when you go through this and then you graduate from that, then you get better on the next level. Then you can look back and see what God has brought you for um, through. That's why don't be surprised when people come back to you to think you're the same that you were before. No, you have graduated past that. Okay, so now we're out here. Uh, strap up, quit whining, and straighten up your back and march on. And it says Second Timothy 2 and 3, and do a hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Okay, so I pray that you were able to get something out of what we said today uh, on the prophet's corner. It's the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> the Wizard of Oz in a whole new way. And by the way, Dorothy didn't make it back home. She did make it back home, but she had so much experiences under her belt by the time she got back home and she clicked her wheels, her heels. We're going to do it. We're going to get home. 
we're going, it may not be overnight, but we're going to be, we are on this journey. Step by step, the song says, step by step, we'll make this journey. Even though the way seem hard, step by step, we will make this journey. But we must put our trust in God. So God bless you today. Uh, keep praying for us as we keep praying for you. In Jesus' name.